Hello 153B students. The purpose of this video is to show you how to draw a base pair, a Watson Crick base pair with good geometry. So why is this important? Well, it's because almost everything we'll be studying this quarter, uh, from nucleic acid structure and duplex formation, to replication, to transcription, to RNA processing, to translation, depends upon the specificity of base pair formation. And so to understand, to have a good feel for what dictates the specificity of base pair formation, it's important to have a good feel for the geometry of the base pair. So I'm going to start by showing you how not to uh, draw a base pair using my iPad and a stylus as a writing tablet. Typically, when a student first tries to draw a base pair, she draws the pyrimidine uh, ring like this, with the N1 nitrogen at the bottom, and then the purine ring with the N9, N9 nitrogen at the bottom. We're tempted to put these two nitrogens at the bottom like this because they're the ones that make the glycosidic bonds, which will then form these nice parallel vertical lines. But let's see what happens when we add the rest of the substituents and the H bond. It turns out that when we do it this way, we end up with H-bond geometry that's all wrong. To appreciate this, we need to look more closely at what makes a good H-bond. So here we see a carbonyl group and an amino group connected via a hydrogen bond. In this optimal H-bond, we see that the angle between the covalent bond and the H-bond is 120 degrees. And that's because the non-bonding electrons are located in two sp2 hybrid orbitals that are separated from the double bond by approximately 120 degrees. That, therefore, that's where the negative charge density is, and so that's where the oxygen to, prefers to accept the H bond. Another thing you'll notice about H bonds is that the preferred angle with respect to the covalent bond of the hydrogen is 180 degrees. H bonds also have a preferred length, which is approximately two angstroms, which makes them somewhat longer than carbon-carbon, carbon-oxygen, or carbon-nitrogen bonds, which are all about 1.5 angstroms. In this example, the H bond acceptor is a carbonyl oxygen, but the same principles apply to sp2 hybridized ring nitrogen. And so now we see why this is the wrong way to draw a base pair. First of all, we have suboptimal H bond angles. In addition, the H bonds are all different lengths. Some may be about the right length, but others are either too long or too short. So let's look at a better way to draw a base pair. First, we should draw the N1C2 covalent bond of the pyrimidine ring so that it's parallel to the bottom of the page. Then we draw the rest of the pyrimidine ring skeleton. Next, we draw the purine ring skeleton so that the C2N3 bond is also parallel to the bottom of the page and in line with the bottom of the pyrimidine ring. Now we can complete the purine ring skeleton. And we can add the glycosidic bonds.
and then we can number the atoms of both heterocycles. Let's take this base pair skeleton and convert it into a GC base pair by adding the necessary substituents and the H bonds. Let's not forget the double bonds. Of course, we know that these are aromatic ring systems, and so the pi orbital electrons are not really localized like this. Uh, rather, they are localized about, they are delocalized about the rings. But conventionally, we would put the double bonds in certain locations so that all the valence electrons are accounted for, and so that each atom has a nice octet of electrons in its valence shell. As you know, each neutral nitrogen also has a lone electron pair, while each neutral oxygen has two lone pairs. You could add them if you like, but for the quiz, you don't need to show them. So now when we look at the H bonds, what do we see? They are all making optimal angles with, the, with both the donor and acceptor atoms. and they are all the same length, just a bit longer than a carbon-carbon bond. Just to be complete, we can now draw the AT base pair. So now we have AT and GC base pairs, good enough for a perfect score on the quiz.